Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play Robocop Rock City where we are looking we are in yeah in the third on the third level. Oh that would be so annoying if you stay in a hotel and someone drunk for example or late in the night is actually playing that crap. Anyways, I am sometimes noticing that I might be a little bit old. But that's nature Isn't it weird? First of all, I think this doesn't look but a like a our hotel, right? This maybe this maybe yes, but um, anyhow. It's you. Thank you for coming over. Do you really think I'm in danger? Not as long as I am here. Tell me what happened again. Someone stole my work computer from the precinct. But the only thing of value are my research notes. Your evaluation especially. Does anyone else know about your research? OCP requested confidentiality, so they're the only ones who know about it. You don't think the old man has anything to do with it, do you? Did you notice anyone suspicious at the crime scene? No, but after a recent hacking attempt, Engineer Morgan fitted my work computer with a tracking device. You could download its last coordinates from my private computer. It's right there on the desk. Maybe this will help you find the culprit. I will find them and they will pay. Actually, even if those thieves were after my research, they'd be disappointed. I keep most of my notes on paper, including- You already conclusion. told us that. I know the whole process wasn't easy for either of us, but I'm sure you felt there was progress. How do you feel about doing the final session now? Is she really now already doing that? Wait, wait, wait. How do you? Okay, why not? Okay. I promised to adhere to our working relationship. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You agreed to a non-compulsory evaluation. Does that mean you felt our sessions are helpful? Yes. A lot has changed since we started. Do you remember how you perceived yourself back then? I was struggling to comprehend my own existence. That's not quite right. But since then, did you have a change of heart? How do you consider yourself now? I like to think of myself as a person. I'm glad to know you can finally see this. Through our time together, I've learned a lot about you. And one thing I know for sure is that you're not some kind of soulless OCP robot. Why do you think so? Could a machine create a real bond of friendship such as you and Officer Lewis have? Do you think a machine could teach a newly appointed officer what it means to be a real policeman? Or bring comfort to a suffering old man? What an actual person glitch. We should make a clear distinction. These so-called glitches are your memories. It seems to me that they manifest themselves in unusual ways because they are trying to get through a mechanical barrier. But as memories and the past make up everyone's personality, those memories make you who you are as well. This is what makes you different from a machine. You should not fear them, but embrace them. But there is also the other kind. And that worries me. But the malfunctions you're referring to seem to be strictly technological. I'm afraid someone is using your mechanical side to mess with your psyche. They would be more successful if it wasn't for your human side. And no wonder. It's probably your strong will that allowed you to bear the extraordinary burdens and it's also what's been protecting you from totally malfunctioning. I don't know a single person who could endure that. So if this evaluation was to determine whether you're human or not, my answer is you're not just a human, but an exceptional one, Alex Murphy. Don't you ever forget that, unless you want to have me on your case again. I will try. Thank you, Doctor. Use my computer to download the coordinates of the tracking device. It's right there on the desk. Okay, let me guess. It's gonna have to do something with OCP. Yep. 
That was a little bit leggy, sorry. I have the coordinates. Hello, Dr. Blanche. I got a special delivery for you. But I haven't ordered anything. I only need your signature. Can you please open the door? Oh, yeah. Enemy contact! Come with me if you want to live. Dr. Blanche's life. Is she okay? Yes, but she will need an escort. Roger that. I'm on my way. Follow me. Armor piercing is amazing. I ain't no psychic. I will figure that out. Wrong. Okay, that way the good doctor cannot go. A coincidence. Wait, is here? Yep. Follow me. We're moving forward. That's good. Concentrate on the positive, Olivia. Yep, you got a point there. If we have not yet completed the picking up stuff quest now, it would have been boy. Can you look boy? This heat is just too much. We must keep going. Oh, the kid! Fire is blocking the way. Good, a real hero. Yep, that was not really on purpose, but good. No, 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 no. You found Grumpy. Count. Thank you so much. The sprinklers aren't working. I don't know why the scope did not work, but I Eyes on target. Don't want to complain, worked out anyways. Oh, 
Yeah, I could have grabbed him. The fire's dying out. Oh yeah. I take care I of it. Make way. Red! Follow me. Oh boy, that was quite a cool mission, I think. Fighting your way out, always, I'm not always, but oftentimes to amazing. The shooting, the blood, seeing it firsthand, it puts everything into perspective. What I think I'm trying to say is, thank you. My duty, madam. So what now, Murphy? I will follow the signal to track the doctor's computer. You will keep her safe. Safe from what exactly? Who were those guys? Mercenaries on Wendell's payroll. The same ones that paid me a visit at the hospital? Wendell should be grateful. You keep reducing his overhead. I am expecting a huge payoff. I hear that. All right, good. Good, good, good. Signal tracking to track the target exact location. Use the signal strength indicator in the upper left corner of your hut. The percentage value increases if you move in the right direction. Okay, that is the direction. Why don't we just use... I would have guessed we drive there, right? I have to admit... I most times do not na uh, do not like the signal strength missions. I always think they are not the best. Anyways, in my that's yeah, just my opinion, which doesn't I guess count for much, right? Signal okay, strength. So where are you headed now? I am following the signal from the doctor's computer. How handy! You're gonna keep me posted if you find anything, won't you? Affirmative, Murphy, out. I hate when you do that. Loose out. That's the wrong. It ain't gonna be up here, right? As I said, I do not like the animation how Robocop goes on the um, Need some rubble. action. No, but it might be covering something that I am looking for. It will be like searching for a needle in a haystack unless you have some kind of x-ray vision. Oh, wait, okay. Any joy? I need to see what is underneath. Then you'll have to wait. There'll be a truck to move it in an hour or two. It's not like you can move the whole thing anyway. You're not a finicking train, are you? <laughs> I am much more than that. Shit! You're like a freaking bulldozer. Is that what you were looking for? A manhole cover? I need to get underground. Well, not through there, you ain't. If the sewers are what you're after, then you should use the entrance behind the mark. Just under the overpass. Thank you, citizen. Thank you. But guys, that then, with the thank yous, right, brings us right now to the end of today's episode. Ain't you know it? I, as usual, 
really, really thank you for watching. If I guess actually you have enjoyed today's episode, then please, oh, the light. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little tinsy thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully, you are looking forward for the next mission. Where we first of all gonna open up that door. Or the doors, since it are basically two. Anyways, why do I sometimes digress that much in the outro? I wish you all a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.